Yeah, I would fight you personally, bruh, but my priority is to use materia. See ya! Break Gaming, and I got myself a gold chocobo on Let's Play Final Fantasy 7! Alright guys, now you're probably wondering, Mike, how the hell did you get a gold chocobo? Well, the thing is, I'm going to, I, I, I'm meant to make a Twitter post about this, but I don't make a Twitter post about it after this recording, then I'll just let you know right now. Basically, I'm not going to be doing the gold chocobo side quest, because it is tedious, it is long, and honestly, I feel no need to do so because I already made a gold chocobo um, guide during my original Final Fantasy VII walkthrough I made back in 2019. In the video description, I'm going to put a link to um, that episode that I made about the gold chocobo side quest. I did the whole thing in, in exact detail from the, from the tie to the T, basically, which means from start to finish. But, yeah, check that link, and you can see how to get the gold chocobo via breeding and racing and all that other crap. So, there you go. Check that guide if you want information. As for this gold chocobo, I used a, um, I used a gold chocobo code. So, yeah, I just, I just don't feel like it, um, raising, um, showing off raising gold chocobo. It is way too tedious and time consuming, and I'm not going to waste my time. So, if you don't like that, there's the door fuck off. But if you do not care, keep on watching because I love you guys. But yeah, I know I, I know the purists in the audience are like, oh, why? Like, how could you do this? Why are you cheating? It's my fucking playthrough. Don't like it, fuck off. It's, it's that easy. Like, seriously. If you don't like something about a video, fuck off and don't watch it. Don't bitch about it. So, I mean, if I see something in the video I don't like, I don't bitch about it in the comments or leave a dislike. I just leave. That That's pretty much it. But in any case, with the Gold Chocobo, as you've already noticed, we can go above the dark waters and stuff like that. It's different than, well, well, this is basically the same as Choco in Final Fantasy IX when I think about it. Probably, how they, probably where they got the design choice for, for Choco. But yeah, we can also access these mysterious caves that we've been seeing throughout the game. I'm sure you might have seen this riding on the high wind. But over here, we can find a Materia Cave. There are about, I think, three or four of these scattered throughout the world. Over the course of many years, Mako Energy crystallized into Materia. And we get the Knights of the Round Materia, baby! Woohoo! Nice! This is the ultimate! The oh, and oh yeah, I forgot to um, tell you, I did some level grinding, and I leveled up and mastered some more of my materia. So there you go. I got all four of the um, spells on the contained materia. As far as the ultima materia, I leveled that up, and now I can use that as well. Got that up to its second level. So there you go. Just wanted to let you know. But yeah, the Knights of the Round materia is the best. The fucking best materia. I fucking love this. The nice thing about it is that it can hit, like, I think, like, between 12 to 13 times. It is fucking amazing. The best summon in the game, and one that's going to be used against the optional super bosses, which I will make an effort to show off. I will actually show off that as a concession, because initially, and so, as I told you guys, I think before I abruptly ended that, um, the first half of the LP, and so, yeah. I was not planning on doing the, um, the, you know, the optional bosses and stuff like that. Because I, ju I just wanted to get the thing done. I just wanted to get it done. That was it. So, yeah, pretty much. But I decided to change my mind on this today. More so because since I'm breaking code here, in essence, and using the gold chocobo code, and stuff to get myself an instant gold chocobo and not doing the side quest. I figure I would make a concession with you guys and do the um the optional side boss, you know, the optional side bosses. 
The nice thing about the gold chocobo is that you can also take it into the highway. Just um just stay on the gold chocobo and just press the button to go into the high one. The gold chocobo will go with you. Isn't that cool? Well, I think it is. In any case, before we go to the Genoan underwater reactor, uh, I want to go check out these materia caves first because we can get some very sexy materia if you do so. And it's well worth your time and energy to do so. Trust me on this. But oh yeah, we also got Cloud back last time. Woohoo! So yeah, our spiky-headed sexy hero is back, bitches. In any case, uh, so nice to be in control of Cloud again. I mean, it doesn't feel right controlling Tifa and Sid when Cloud is the real one we can actually, you know, it's the real one. He's the real deal. The main protag. We get the HP MP um, swamp material. I won't say swamp, but that's basically what it is. Basically, what this material does is it, it exchanges your HP for your MP. It's worthless. So, there you go. So, unless you're doing, like, some kind of low-level challenge and stuff like that, or low HP challenge, or whatever fucking challenge, I, I don't know, viewers. There you go. That's your, that would be probably a go-to material for you. As for me, I could give two shits. So, yeah, it's pretty worthless to me, but it could be useful to others. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. And in any case, there is another materia cave that is near Wutai. So let's go there. And oh yeah, you can still do the Yuffie um, side quest at Wutai. So yeah, if you didn't do it earlier, there you go. You can still do it. The thing is, after you reach a certain point, you will not be able to do the, um, you know, the Yuffie side quest. You know, you know when Yuffie steals your materia, when you get to this continent? Yeah, that section. The Wutai Pagoda side quest after that side quest is done, which you can unlock after that one. Um, yeah, you can still do that on this three as well. So, yeah, just so you know. In any case, we gotta find that materia cave. I probably walked, I probably ran right fucking past it. Let's see. It's over here. Ah, there it is. And there is another materia cave near Medeal as well. So, I wanna go check that out next. Alright. Perfect. In any case, let's check out this one. Now, this one is really good, viewers. Now, we get the Mime Materia. Yes. Mime is so amazing. It's so amazing, viewers. The nice thing about Mime is that it will allow you, well, just like in Final Fantasy V, it will allow you to basically copy a other party member's actions. So basically, I recommend getting a. I recommend mastering one of these mind materials, so that way you can get one, um, another one for your other party member. So basically, one way to go about fighting the super bosses is to utilize the mind and the knights of the round material. Basically, I would have Cloud use knights of the round, and then have someone with the mind command use that. You see what I mean? So yeah, before we fight those super bosses, I'm gonna wait till this three for them. Or, I could fight them in this too. I, I guess it really doesn't matter when I fight them. Really. But, yeah. Um, I think, well... Hmm. Well, I'm not going to spoil it because we haven't encountered it yet. But, there is one that doesn't spawn into a certain section later in this too. So, yeah. We'll have to wait on that, unfortunately. Come on, Cloud. Hurry up. There you go. Going a little too slow for me, bro. Alright, now then, we got one more materia cave to go, so let's head on back to Medeal. But, yeah, like I said, viewers, I, I'm going to provide a link in the video description to um, how you can do the Gold Chocobo, um, Gold Chocobo side quest. It was tedious when I did that walkthrough, too, by the way. So, yeah, but I did that because, you know, I just figured it was the best thing to do at the time. So, you know, well, I could have just used the code then. Nah. I figured I might need that in the future somehow. I don't know. See, it's a good thing to do initial videos of something that you would probably do again in the future. So, yeah, it's like I did my original Final Fantasy VII non-commentated walkthrough back in 2019. That was when Rage Break Gaming was still getting started, by the way. So, just wanted to point that out. But, yeah, back then, obviously, I wasn't getting a lot of views. I didn't have a lot of subs and stuff like that. And it still shows to this day, as far as the views are concerned, on that video. 
But I put in a lot of hard work and information into that side quest. So, yeah, if you need information on the Gold Chocobo side quest, check the video. I did every fucking thing I could do to get the Gold Chocobo. So, yeah. Once you get the Gold Chocobo, you can get these, get to these Materia Caves. Now, you can get this one, the Quadra Materia, with the High Wind, but it is a very difficult maneuver to do. You'd have to land the High Wind on a specific part of, of a cliff that's near here to get to this cave, but it is difficult to do. But if you can do it, you can get the Quadra Materia. Fair or Quadra Magic Materia. Parent Magic used four times. Now, I'm not sure if you can pair this with the, um, you know, the Knights of the Round Materia, but it is, like, so fucking awesome. As a matter of fact, now that I think about it, um, let me do this real quick. As a matter of fact, I'll do this off screen. Be right back. And oh yeah, viewers, we got all the materia now, so I'll meet you guys back in Janone. Be right back. Alright, viewers, we are back in Janone. And in any case, before we go to the underwater reactor, let's go pay our old friend Priscilla a visit. We haven't seen her in a long time. So, yeah. Hey there, little lady. Who are you? How's it going? It's been a while. Priscilla! Mike! Stupid jerk! Look how you- oh, look how much you made me worry! Were you at the live stream? How'd you know that? I didn't tell you anything. Yeah, that's right. You gotta be more careful, because you're gonna marry me one day. <laughs> oh, yeah, keep dreaming, girl. But yeah, I just, I just wanted to see Priscilla, because she does say something to you. If you visit her with Cloud, that is. So, yeah. I'm not sure how the hell she found out that Cloud was at the live stream. Or in the live stream. Basically, but whatever. Um, plot hole. In any case, yeah, pay this guard here. For some odd reason, he lets you go up to Upper Janome for 10 gil. I mean, they obviously have our names on wanted posters, or faces on wanted posters by now. I would think that they would just stop us at every attempt. But that guard is like, nah, bro, you go ahead. Just pay me 10 gil, you can go up. Ten gill is nothing. <laughs> At this point, viewers, if you have not mastered not one all material, just turn the game off. No, 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 I'm just kidding, but yeah. If you've been using, some of you must have been using all materials, so at this point, if you've mastered an all material by now, you will be fucking rich. So, yeah, you won't have to worry about money issues, like, ever. So, yeah, if, you, if you're not using a max money code, it is. I never had to worry about that. I know, being rich is awesome, in game. If only I could be rich in, um, outside of game, that would be too awesome. Very awesome. I'll rule the world. No, I mean, no, 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 no. N not that serious. I may be mistaken, but doesn't it feel like we're missing something? Huh? What are we missing? You know what, now that I think about it... Where's the cannon at? Yeah, uh, you know what, the cannon, oh yeah, that's right, as soon as we, I didn't, oh, I wasn't even paying attention, I, I didn't notice the cannon at all, when we got, when I got into Janome, but yeah, viewers, remember this little section here, yeah, this is the leveling hotspot I told you guys about, um, about back in our first trip here to Janome, but yeah, hey dudes, alright, let's see how hard you trained, yes sir, ATTACK! Uh, hey, where are you going? That's the underwater reactor, come back! Wow. Epic fail! <laughs> you can still make use of this hotspot, by the way, though at this point, enemies give more EXP and AP. So, yeah, pretty much. In any case, hey there, how's it going? Uh-oh! Uh how about whoever stays alive gets to take her out? Alright, you're on, dude. But what if both of us... Whoa, don't even talk about that. Because it's going to happen! <laughs> now it's a good opportunity to show off my new skills. For example... Wait till it... Now, viewers, I mastered my throw material, finally. I got the coin ability. Basically, it's kind of like, um... Well... Uh, 
Zenich. Yeah, it's Zenich back in Final Fantasy V, that samurai skill. Yeah, basically, you throw kill at your enemies. And, it, and if you throw a lot of kill, you deal a lot of damage. It's like Riku's spirit change ability, too, now that I think about it. Her spirit change ability was OP. Great, there went two perfectly good men. Well, they shouldn't have tried to fight me for your affection. I don't know, blame yourself. Like, stupid dumbasses. Like, they're gonna get themselves killed just to go out with some, some random, um, girl. Are you serious? You see, that's how most of these fights between some of these hetero males start. Like, if, if there's a girl involved. How about whoever, um, lives gets to take her out? Whoever defeats them gets to take, take her out. And then they both die! It just, it's dumb! It's stupid! You're killing each other over a girl! It's dumb! I, I can't even begin to say how dumb it is! I mean... I, I mean, as a gay man myself, I've never encountered issues of, oh, um, two guys fighting to get, you know, you know, the guy, the guy that they both like, you know. I've never seen anything like that in my community. If it does happen, I've never seen it. But it's been stereotyped, mundane, and played out so much with straight people. I, it's just, it's comical at this point, and sad. But, yeah, I digress. <laughs> in any case, there's the death machine. We fought, fought that guy earlier in this one, remember? I think I showed him off. But oh yeah, if you didn't get Master Magic, you can get it now. So, yeah. Oh yeah, if it says learn here, that's from the other, um... The other enemy skill that we picked up at the Forgotten City. I still haven't gotten all of the enemy skills on that new one, though. So yeah, I still need to get Beta and Aqualung and stuff like that. Oh yeah, now that, we're, now that we got the high one, the Buggy as well as the Tiny Bronco are both gone. So, yeah, I heard that whenever you get new vehicles in Final Fantasy VII, if you get, if you have, like, okay, so we had the buggy, and we had the Tiny Bronco in this one. You can still use the Tiny Bronco a little bit at the start of this, too, if you decide to go back before you go to, you know, the, you know, Icicle Inn and all that. But, like, once you go to the Great Glacier, it's like, you might as well kiss, you might as well kiss the Tiny Bronco and the buggy goodbye. Because it ain't gonna be there when you come back. So, yeah, once you get the high when both of them are going, and we're going to be, spoiler alert, getting another means of convenience soon. So, yeah, once you get that, you know, that's it. We'll have the high win and that other thing. Which I'm not going to spoil yet. So, there you go. In any case, at this point, viewers... We should get the ability to fucking fly, because <laughs> we're so overpowered to the point now I can fight the I can fight both super bosses now and still survive. Well, I think I need a little bit more training first. We'll get there soon enough. Whoa. Okay, I guess we're there. All right, let's go then to the underwater reactor. Oh, wait a minute, almost forgot something. Um, let's see here. I guess I can get the skill to tear off now. Viewers, equip somebody with the um, morph materia right now before you head into the next area. That's a small little pro tip. Ooh, look at this area. <laughs> we're in a, we're in a, like an aquarium. This is so cool. Hey, fishies, can you see me? Wow, you got a dolphin too? Is that Mr. Dolphin? Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> hey, Mr. Do oh, wait, it's already gone. Never mind. No oh my god! They have ghost ships in here? With giant ass skeletons. Yay. In any case, new enemy here. Um, ghost ship. Use the morph command on this guy. Why? Because you can get a very specific, um something from this guy and oh yeah try not to kill it before you get it Ew! but of course I don't know why my attacks are just like extremely pitiful with, with more there you go 
Oh shit, I should have took the counter tech material off of Cloud first. Oh, uh, I hope I don't kill it. Ah, oh, no! Yup. Figure. Figures! <sighs> Ooh, I leveled up my luck material though. Yay! But still, aw. Oh. There you go, finally! Damn! Nigga, it's on five! We got the guidebook, finally. Now, viewers, he has that annoying attack there called, um, what's it, Jill, uh, Golnani, or something like that. Basically, it's a target, um, it's a counter-target move. Basically, it targets whoever has the highest HP and tosses them the fuck out of battle. So, there you go. This St. Emo's Fire is, is pretty weak, but some of his physical attacks can inflict the Fury status, so get rid of that shit. That guidebook that we morphed from him, though, is actually pretty useful because it's useful for a certain um, side quest called the Calm Traveler side quest, which is also linked to the side quest that, have to, that has to do with the, um, oh, God, what's the name of it? It's also linked with the super bosses as well, so it might be worth your time to go after it, you know what I mean? So... In any case, we got the guidebook, and oh yeah, viewers, you need to get that- Whoa! Is that a shark? Where is it? Come back here! Damn, it is a shark! Okay, that's enough sightseeing, I, I don't wanna get- <laughs> But yeah, you need to get that guidebook before you leave this area, if you wanna complete that side quest. If you do complete it, you're gonna get a lot of good shit. So, yeah, pretty much. In the case, that guy there, um, Diver Nest, 2,800 HP. Um, he has water and he's immune to Earth, because obviously he floats. So, yeah, pretty much. Hmm, the hell is this? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, well, this is a reactor. I guess they would have an elevator. That, this is a pretty cool elevator, though. You get to see the bubbles and the Order and stuff. I like that. That's a nice touch game. Very nice touch. In any case, where are we now? Hmm. Okay, we got a submarine. Two submarines. The fuck is this? Hmm. Looks like some kind of giant, giant crane or something. Might want to hurry up because I don't like the name. I don't like look at that crane game. In the case, new enemies here. Sing your grunts. Let's see here. Where you at? Um, he has nothing to steal. 2,600 HP. Um, he has water. So, there you go. The other guy here. Um, where the hell are you? Gun carrier. Um, let's see here. 3,400 HP. He's with lightning. So, there you go. Move, bitch! There you go. You're in the way. Move. There you go. Thank you, guys. Alright. I wonder where that crane is going. Hmm. Kinda don't want to be here to find out. In the case, oh, we got another new enemy here. Guardian. Different from the Guardian in Final Fantasy VI. And a lot less deadly. 4,000 HP, but he's pitiful. EAT MY MONEY, BITCH! <laughs> Damn! Here, just take it and go away. Or I, I forget exactly what Riku's um thing was when she used the bribe ability. Yeah, just take it and go away, or or something rather like that. And the mob takes the money and goes away. What's the monster gonna do with the money? Like, what are monsters gonna do with money? Viewers, what can they do with money? Maybe you can answer that. Hey, dude. You, you're Mike! Oh, I've got a reputation? <gasps> Damn! Yeah, I love that! The enemies call me by name! Yes! Well, we are obviously on their most wanted list by now. In any case, submarine crew. And I killed them. Damn. Oh, well. In the case, the submarine guy there, he carries a new piece of armor that you can steal. I think it's the Shinra Alpha. Let me take, let me take a quick look. Let's see here. I can't find him anywhere. 
But yeah, he does have the Shinra Alpha armor that you can steal. Different from the Shinra Beta armor um, that we got earlier in the game. It's pretty good with defense, but pretty mediocre magic defense. But that's alright, because the PlayStation's magic defense ver um, um, magic defense is bugged in the PlayStation version. So, don't worry about it. It's all good, baby. It's all good. It's all good. We got this shit. In any case, let's see if I can get that, um... Didn't I give Yuffie the other, um... That's weird. Did I take it off of her? Huh. Well, whatever. Oh, I get a Shinra Beta. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. In any case, let me see if I can get that. Okay, be right back. Alright, viewers and Mac. Now, luckily, I had to manipulate my save states, but I managed to steal myself a Shinra Alpha. Yeah, because Cloud kept on killing them because of counterattack. Yeah, pretty much. In any case, let's go check out that um, Shinra Alpha. But yeah, not that big a deal. It's okay with defense. It's just not that big a deal. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's there. And that's pretty much it. But yeah, oh yeah, I um I got that other curse ring. I got that on Cloud, and I gave him the Imperial Guard. Imperial Guard is really good for defense. So yeah, make sure you get that from the Fort Condor thing at, uh, for the Huge Materia. So yeah, speaking of the Huge Materia, is this it? The Huge Materia. All right, we found it. How do we get to it, though? We got, like, security laser. <gasps> Uh-oh. So that's what the crane was for. Hey, a crane game. Yeah, a crane game that's... What is it doing? Oh, hell no! A crane game that's taking our materia! We were a little late. Uh, uh gah! Damn, now we gotta chase after it. Oh, son of a bitch. <gasps> Did we make it? Is that Reno? Oh, no! No! Damn it, they got away with it. Uh, why are we watching them take it? Rah! Rah! I mean, stop them! I guess we can't with this guy in the way. What are you doing? Help load. Oh, uh, I'll load something all I'll I'll load something alright, Reno. <laughs> in any case, Mike? Yeah, hey Reno. We haven't seen Reno since like going gaga. God damn it's been a while. I refuse. Ha! I'm sure. You want me to do manual labor? Fuck that shit, I'm a ninja. Either give it to us or else. You know the drill here, Reno, so what's it gonna be? Hmm. Hmm, with my hair back. Unfortunately, I don't have time to deal with you. Oh, are you gonna fight us? Oh, I'm so scared. You're such a threat to me. Come on, dude. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. What the fuck is this? You're gonna sick a machine on me! Wow, how original. Yeah, I would fight you personally, bruh, but my priority is to use materia. See ya, bitch! It's just time for a boss fight! Versus the carry armor! Are you serious? What a dick! In the case of carry armor, um, <laughs> 24,000 HP. This guy is annoying. First off, let's start off with Big Guard. He has nothing to steal, by the way, so don't bother. <laughs> it's actually a good opportunity to show off my new summon material, if you know what I mean, viewers. Alright, let's see here. Alright, don't take anyone! Good. Yeah, he can not take one of your party members out of the battle. We're not out of the battle permanently, but you can, like, snatch them, and you can't use them until you get rid of the, the arm that is attached to it. So, yeah. But in case, let me show off the Knights of the Round material and all their sexy glory. And oh yeah, viewers, their summon animation is, like, really long. So, yeah, I'm gonna be fast-forwarding through their summon animations from now on. 
just so you know. But yeah, look at that damage! Look at it! I mean, dude, you got him already! <laughs> oh my gosh! Dude, you got him! It's done! <laughs> uh, not so fast. The big guy himself has to get in there. Eat my slash bitch! And... Boom! Headshot! Did I get him? <laughs> oh my god! One shot that bitch! <laughs> now normally I wouldn't have used Knights of the Round on such a weak ass boss. But I wanted to show off the power in advance, so that way I don't waste your time with it in the weapon. Uh, oh, sorry, in the super boss fights. So, there you go. We get the God's Hand for Tifa. Yay. Just like Vincent's Sniper CR and Long Barrel R, Tifa's God Hand has really good accuracy. And by good, I mean max accuracy. 255%, that is. Damn, the submarine's gone! Such a distraction. The huge materia! There is only one way. Yeah, we gotta steal that other submarine and go after them. I'm not letting them take my huge material away. Because we get the battle trumpet there. That's a new weapon for Kate Sith. Who cares moving on? I mean, who gives a shit about Kate Sith's weapons at this point? Who the fuck uses Kate Sith at this point? I'm just rambling at this point, but I'm serious. In case we get the scimitar. That is our first triple material growth weapon. That is for Sid. And we get a new key item, the Leviathan Scales. We can put this to use back up with Ty. So, yeah, pretty much. In the case, hey dudes, you're in my way. Move! <sighs> our viewers and Mac got this guards out the way. Oh, come on, man. You want the sub? Just try and take it. Um, boss, maybe we shouldn't piss them off. Yeah, your underlings are right, dude. <laughs> because I'm in kind of a bad mood right now. And you trying to fight me is making me in an even more bad mood. So, yeah, die. <laughs> Did they think they would win? No! Like, come on! Why do you bother? It makes no sense! You're going to die! Just get the fuck off the submarine if you value your life! It's that simple! Just dumb! Oh, now we got more assholes! No, no, this is terrible! What the hell? We don't have- we don't have much time! I don't wanna die! There's still so much more I gotta do! I never even got to do my special victory dance in battle! Alright then, make this your first victory! Go on, show them! Yes, sir! Yeah! Remember your last training, begin! Yes, sir! I'm back, and I got no regrets! Attack! Uh... Oh, right, these are the guys that Cloud taught- Wow! You know what? I'll take a prison break. Yeah, viewers, if you guys don't recall, we uh, Cloud taught these guys his victory pose back in Genome, back in this one, remember? Yeah. What the hell is wrong with you, Cloud? Someone, please, I'm sorry, I can't take it anymore. The lag of space, the shaking, the roar of the engine. What the fuck's up with you? I, I can't, I I'm history. Dude, Cloud, you're the leader! Get a grip and pilot the ship! Uh, whoa! Vincent? I'm not very mechanical, but it seems like we're starting to move. Hang in there. Uh, hey, you're right, I do feel a little better driving. <laughs> I mean, I just needed someone strong and mysterious like Vincent to give me a hand. So, yeah, give me that confidence boost. No sweat! Leave everything to me! <laughs> Look at Yuffie. I'll hold my breath, so hurry! Yuffie, you're on the ship. It's all good. Oh yeah, I forgot she has motion sickness. I thank you. I'm happy to be a hostage. <laughs> Do 
Just be happy you're still alive. I could have decided to kill you if I wanted to, but you guys are cool. So, yeah, pretty much. Piloting a submarine is very difficult and completely clueless. Huh, I thought you guys would know. Huh, maybe I should have killed him. <laughs> no, no, just kidding. Hey, who, who, who am I to know? Oh, fuck you guys then, I'll do it myself. Alright, let's sit in the chair and get this done. Ugh. Everything seems set. In any case, viewers, here's the directions you need to follow to pilot the submarine, because we got a mini game coming up, which will <coughs> also be in the ghost also later. <coughs> Basically, use the triangle button to speed up your, um, your submarine. Press the square button to fire a torpedo, and press the X button to speed down. So, there you go. Quickly lock onto the target, fire torpedoes with the square button, and then we're done. Let's do this. I'm not wasting time reading the manual, because I already told you. I am the manual! There you go. Yeah. I'm the navigator, bitch. In any case, we gotta destroy that that red submarine and get the huge materia back. Go! Oh yeah, I gotta, gotta go! Hurry, hurry! Yeah, do not let that bitch get away! Fire! Fire, fire, fire! Whoa! Yeah, viewers, watch out for those little triangle things. They can cause damage to the ship. Go, go, go! Fire, bitch, come on! Yes! Woohoo! There was another submarine there that was about to fucking fire at me, but I went like, nah, bitch, mission complete. Nah, bitch! Woo! We got a submarine! Nice! We did it! The huge material should be at the bottom of the sea by now. Let's continue the search. Under the sea. All submarine Shinra marine units, do you read? All Shinra submarine units, do you read? Hmm, must be from Shinra. Report number two. Huh? Oh my god! <laughs> they mean us! Oh, alright, I'll do it. <clears throat> this is Shinra number two. Everything's normal here. Roger. Your next mission is return to Janone Deck. Doc, we will transport the used material from the airport. Huh? There's another one? Those without other assignments will report for guard duty. That is all. Over and out. Janone Airport. We should make it if we hurry. Forget about the huge material for now. We're climbing. First the ocean, now the air. What a busy day. <laughs> ah! You know, this is the reason why I love having Vincent in the party. His fucking one... His fucking one-liners. Or two-liners in this case, but... Wow. <laughs> first, first the sea, now in the air. What a busy day. <laughs> I concur, Vincent. I concur. In any case, the submarine can be used to park at these little things on, on the continent. You can land at base like this one, basically. These little, like, indents in, in, in the land. Yeah, you can land a submarine here and get back one to land. Just so you know. In the case, before we do anything though, I want to go back under the, under the sea. Because I want to go and get that huge materia. I'm not letting the monsters eat it. No, no, no! Go back! Damn it! Wrong button. There you go. No! <laughs> Total fail! Okay, let's try that again. But in any case, Fields, you saw that big green thing? What the fuck was that? Well, actually, I know what it is. But you might want to stay away from it. Why? Well, if you're not prepared, you're going to get your ass kicked. Okay, spoilers. If you don't recall, remember all those giant monsters that popped out of the crater after Cloud gave the black material to Sephiroth and caused Armageddon and all that shit? That is one of the weapons. His name is Emerald Weapon. He is one of the optional super bosses of the game. He is way too powerful to deal with right now. I mean, I could fight him right now if I wanted to. In fact, maybe I will. I don't know. I'll think about it. Actually, I could fight him right now. I mean, what's really stopping me? Hmm. I, I pretty much have what I need. So this is the leader, so... Damn, makes me sick just thinking about it. Huge material recovered. No damage appears to have been sustained. 
Ah, good. That's good to hear. And it gets all right. We got the used materia. Nice. All right, we got the used materia, which is good. But we're not done yet. Now we will be fighting Emerald Weapons soon, but not right now. So until then, um, don't run into him. Once you run into him, you start the battle, and at this point, he's going to kick your ass. So I don't recommend fighting him yet. There is one more thing I want to get real quick before we end the episode, and I'll be right back. All right, viewers of Mac, we are still underwater, a little further north from Janone. Basically, we're under the northern continent, by the way. So yeah, our snowy continent. Basically, there's a small little cave under the sea here. Let's check this thing out. What the hell is this? It looks like a staff. It looks like a key to somewhere. That thing's a key? It seems really old. Analysis completed. Exact date of origin cannot be determined. Estimated to be several thousand years old. Several thousand? Ancient? In any case, we get a new key item, the key to ancients. Nice. Or a key to the ancients, really. But yeah, that key to the ancients, that key item is very important. And later on in the disc, the game is going to direct you to come here and get it. So how about you do yourself a favor and get it once you get the submarine? Because if not, you'll have to leave that area that you're in when you're requested to get it, come all the way here, and go all the way back. So, yeah, I just saved you some time, didn't I? So, yeah, come here, get the key, that way you won't have to come back here when the game initially directs you to come here anyway. So, yeah, just remember where I was sailing at, directly under the North Continent. So, yeah, there you go, just watch out for Emerald Weapon. There is another side quest that we can do, but let's head on back to Genoa Airport first. Next time, if you guys enjoy, you know what to do, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more gaming videos from me. Hit the bell so notified whenever I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Leave a comment. Till next time, dudes and dudettes. This is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, bros and brosettes. Smell you later, bitches.